Hey guys, what's going on buddy? It's Mr. Sammy Cam here and welcome back to another BTS reaction. We are back with the boys once again and today we're going to be checking out quite an interesting looking video. It's going to be called BTS MV vs. Reality. Now this is looking like it could be a very interesting watch, especially for me because you guys know how much I love looking behind the scenes into these music videos, watching the MV shootings and stuff. And I believe this video is pretty much going to be a compilation of, you know, clips of the actual music videos, but also along with some behind the scenes clips, which obviously link up to that music video of them shooting it so yeah sounds like an interesting watch we know how insane these bts music videos are and to be fair there's not much difference between reality and the actual music video anyway the amount of times that i've watched the bts music video gone and looked at the music video and said oh my god that cgi is amazing and then gone to watch the mv shooting and it's actually happened in real life like that guy he set fire to in the in the fire video i don't even know but anyways here we go we're gonna jump right into it let's go but yeah, as always, guys, just before we do jump into it, if you're brand new to my channel, you've never seen my face before, and you have been enjoying these BTS reactions you've been seeing here, make sure you are subscribed down below, guys. Click that button, become a part of the family. We'd love to have you join us. We do upload these BTS reactions every single day here on the channel, as I always say. And if you'd like to support me even further, turn right on my screen. It's my Instagram and my Twitter, at Mr. Sam account, or both of them. I post updates on new videos, do little live streams and stuff like that, so it's definitely worth going to give me a follow over there if you haven't yet. And last, last thing, link down below is my Patreon. Patreon is the thing that allows me to continue to put out this content for you guys every single day here on YouTube. Over there we upload loads of exclusive content, BTS run reactions, BTS Bon Voyage reactions and we'll have a load more series coming in the near future. In fact we've just finished season 4 of BTS Bon Voyage which I'm super super sad about I'm not gonna lie because that season was so wholesome but then we're gonna be moving on to In The Soup in the next couple of weeks which will be fun. But yeah without further ado we are gonna hop right into this video MV versus reality. Let's go. The YouTube channel that represents all the army. Okay, so this the this video is by Van. So if you guys want to go check out their channel, link will be in the description. Hey yo, it's winter. It's cold outside. Oh my god, I've never seen this clip of Jin. <laughs> what? We're gonna be talking about a sensitive subject: the hidden face on of music videos. Behind these nuggets for the eyes, okay, I don't, behind these nuggets for the eyes hides a realization and a work without fault of the seven members. I should have been a poet. Okay, we thank the staff, Hitman Bang and the rest because without them BTS would not, wouldn't be who they are today. Okay, I think we all agree about the fact that the intro is 1000 too long. But you're still here. We're still here, we're still watching. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was a wholesome intro. Oh my god, boy in love. Oh my god. Jin, when he pushed this girl against the thing, it was properly hot. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> the girl's face is like, oh my god, wow. I would, uh, and then he's like bowing to her afterwards. He's like, I'm so sorry. It's for the music video. It had to happen. <laughs> Ow! See, Suga, he looks so mean in the music videos, but then behind the scenes, he's just like this, like, bubbly kind of, like... <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. The guy on fire. I remember when I watched that, I was like, yeah, that's a, that's a nice little effect. I mean, it's quite clever how they've done it. Really clean, you know, they've done it really well there. Turns out they actually set him on fire. I can't believe that. They got the fire extinguisher out and everything. Oh my god, and the car falling from the sky. They don't use CGI, BTS. They're just like, we may as well just do it. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. Guys, I've really, uh, obviously, I'm into film production and all of that and like the, the kind of, th everything that goes into it when it comes to the produ production side, but when it comes to the set design and the pyrotechnics and stuff, I don't really know how it works. I'm not too sure how they get the fire to like, come out like that. I don't think they actually set it on fire. 
Or maybe they just put like a load of like petrol or something flammable on top of the car before they do it and then just set that alight because there's a lot of flames there, you know what I mean? Oh my god. Dude, that reminds me of the cheese string guy in the back. Is that just me? <laughs> oh my god. Did Hobie just square up to it? <laughs> Yo, I haven't, I haven't actually seen the behind the scenes of this. This camera work is looking, have they got it on some sort of hang up? I think they might have it on some kind of motor. I don't think that was handheld because it looked a bit too smooth and a bit too, you know, accurate to be handheld. They might have had it on some sort of motor, which kept going back and forth. So cool. There's the, the massive purple screen in the back. <laughs> Such colourful sets as well. Oh, mic drop. Dude, that's insane. Look at the, pe the, the people flying in the background. And they were actually on cables. It's just insane. They don't they don't use green screen or they don't use like CGI. Like you could easily, I mean, to be fair, if you did that with CGI, it wouldn't look quite as realistic. So you get the really, really kind of like realistic physics when, when you do it in real life. But like they could have done it, it was so much cheaper, just like doing it in front of a green screen or something. But no, they had to bring the cables out, didn't they? Oh my god. <laughs> it looks like a lot of fun though. <laughs> oh, this is insane. This is insane. I remember watching the MV shooting for this. Same damn clothes. <laughs> oh my god, I completely forgot. RM trying to get out of the back of the ambulance. That's the funniest thing. And then that's a real explosion. My job. <laughs> Hobie did not know that was coming. I wonder what the people down the street think when they hear this massive explosion. It's just like, what is that explosion? They look out the window, it's just like, oh, it's just BTS filming another music video. Don't worry. <laughs> And they had to try and carry on dancing without flinching or anything, you know what I mean? Oh, run! I don't think I've seen the behind the scenes for this. Yo, he got properly slammed against that, against that car. They've got the real police car as well with the flashing lights. Love it. I don't think I've seen the MV shooting for this either. Does does Run have like a whole like um does it have like a whole MV shooting to it? Because I might have to watch the full thing. All I do is break stuff. <laughs> oh my god! Oh the pillow fight! I want to see this. This looks insane, like the amount of feathers that are flying around. And yep, they're actually all there as well. <laughs> did Hobie just pull a feather? Where did you just pull that feather from, Hobie? He just pulled a feather out of his no- Okay, 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 Hobie, okay. How did it get up there? Oh, spring day. Dude, this music video is so beautiful. And that's not even a set. Like, I, I guess it doesn't really... When, when you see it, it, you can kind of tell it's real. But like, you know, they actually went to a proper snowy closed station somewhere in Korea. Yeah, it must have been so cold, like, holding on to that snowy track. 
Oh my god. Oh, the tree scene. <laughs> Look at Jimin's pink hair. Where did you get all the clothes from? That's what I want to know. Like, where? Look at it! It's so big! You can't even see it! It's just, I just respect like Big Hit so much and their whole production team and how, you know, just how dedicated they are to create these things. Like they're genuinely, you can tell they ge genuinely have a passion for the art because otherwise they wouldn't do all of this and they wouldn't go to this much effort. Look at all the clothes, it's not just the pile, there's loads of clothes beside it as well. Oh my god, here we go. Here we go. War poor mode. Yo, look at the light reflectors they've got. They're huge. This is absolute chaos. This is the kind of shoot where you do have a lot of a lot of chaos, really, because it's quite, you know, all of the shots within the video are quite long, so the camera has to move about, and so does the lighting. So you just have, like, loads of crew behind the camera just, like, running away, do you know what I mean? Trying to keep up with, uh, with BTS. Ooh, save me. This is a good one. This was a one take. This was a legit one take. Which I found really interesting. And they did a really good job with it. I remember when I was watching it, I said to you guys, I was like, there's got to be a cut in there somewhere, right? And you guys were like, no. And then I watched behind the scenes. I'm like, oh my god, they actually did that full thing. And it looks super cold and rainy as well. Look at all of them behind the camera. I don't think a lot of people fully appreciate how much... How much organisation and like... You know, just... It, it takes a lot to do a one shot like this. Everything has to go right, do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh no, this was absolutely nuts. Dude, not today. The music video for this. Where did they get the massive, like, you know, the platform that they were on? The massive glass platform. How did that get there? And this drone shot as well. Oh, and the gunshot. Oh, that shot, that is so good. <laughs> Notice how it looks a lot more dramatic and kind of cinematic with when all the colour correction's on and when it's in slow motion. But when you're watching it just like this, it's like... Ugh. <laughs> See? Slow motion just makes everything so much more epic. <laughs> it's really cool though. They were very good at pretending to be shot, like... They did a very good job. <laughs> Oh my god, this is beautiful. And look, okay. Look, it looks beautiful, like, on in the music video. Normally, normally shots like this look be way better in the music video than what they did in real life when they were shot. But look at this set, man. Like, it just looks so gorgeous. Like, look at it. It's just, oh. It looks exactly like it does in the music video. And then Yugi's just eating Jimin's hair. Crazy. Ooh, that camera on the crane. 
Damn, they're looking classy. Ooh. What did they use for the water then? He flinched. <laughs> Dude, but the thing is, right, they probably had to redo, the, redo that take until he didn't flinch. Because he's supposed to be just like sat there like a badass while the water goes off. But that's got to be hard when it makes that massive noise in the back. <laughs> he just, he blinked. That's got to be hard. Damn. See, it just... Wow. It's just crazy when you see the behind the scenes. I think it's because, like, it kind of makes you realise that, wow, that actually happened in real life. You know what I mean? When you're watching the music video, you kind of forget sometimes that that actually happened. Like, there was actually a moment in time where this, where Jungkook was swinging around on a swing just like this. Like, as gracefully as he was in the music video. And you kind of just forget that because of how perfect it looks. But kind of brings it all to realisation, which I love. But yeah, as always, I always love watching these behind the scenes videos. Seeing all the effort that goes into these music videos. Uh, yeah, I'll never I'll never get enough of it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it as always but Yeah, as always guys, I really hope you did enjoy today's video If you did, I like rate it down below, it'd be much appreciated And if you're brand new to my channel, you've never seen my face before You have been enjoying these BTS reactions you've been seeing here Make sure you are subscribed down below guys Click that button, become a part of the family We'd love to have you join us We do upload these BTS reactions every single day As I always say, it's definitely worth joining the family Hopefully you all have a beautiful rest of your day Hopefully you're staying safe for the fun that's going on We'll catch you very soon in the next reaction video Peace out.